Okay, the next part is, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new triple store. I'm going to load some triples. I will show the triples on the screen. Remove the triples again from the screen, create an index, and then search for something. Okay? Um, what I'll usually do is also tell you what shortcuts you have to use or where you can find a particular command. But let's, let's get to uh, the first uh, uh, demo of managing your triple store. So here I have a shortcut on my desktop, graph 5.0.10 for allegograph 3.3. I start it. And let me display also the legends. So I go to view and uh, show legend. And then I'm going to create a new triple store. So I click new triple store. And this version also will work on remote triple store. So if you want to work with a local database on your hard drive, uh, then you have to fill in uh, the name of your local machine. And we already suggest what the name of your local machine is. My local machine is JA7. Uh, your name will undoubtedly be different. But by doing this, I say I'm using the local machine. Then I create a, um, a database. Well, I just put it in my documents. So I say, let's do actors. So what I'm going to download later is um, a little subsection of the DBpedia with actors and movies and the roles of actors, whether they were an actor, whether they were a director, where they were born, and, and stuff like that. So I'm creating a database called actor.db. Say OK. And I already had one, so I'm overriding it. Then I tell the system how many triples I expect. Now, it doesn't really matter how, what you fill in here. This is important if you're going to do literally hundreds of millions of triples. Then it really makes a difference to have kind of an estimate. For small numbers, it really doesn't matter. But I'm putting 200,000 triples. So now I have a database, and I have exactly zero triples, as you can see at the top here. So now I go back to File, and I say Load to Triples. And I have a choice for various kinds of triples that you can download. But I'm going to download, uh, or sorry, um, load triples from an N triples file. And see here, I can choose actually from a file or from the web. Um, so if you have a, an IDF file somewhere on the web, you can actually download it straight from the web. But let me do it from a file now. And then I will go to um, the directory where I know where my file is. Let's see. Hey, I have it in actors. The oh, yeah, it is. Here it is. So I have the file called actors that n triples, 25 megabytes. Um, when I open a file, I also can specify the name of the graph. And usually it's an, uh, a full URI, but you can just for fun also just type in a, um, a literal. doesn't really matter. The system will start downloading triples. And now we have, we can see here at the top that we have 166,497 triples in the system. Yeah. But now we want to look at some triples. So just for fun, if you want to see how your triples look like, yeah, then one quick command to get some triples on the screen is to click on display and then display all triples up to a limit. So here, um, I show some triples. Yes, so I see some triples with Dennis Hopper, some triples for Ronald Reagan, uh, James Russo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, so we see that what we see on the left-hand side is uh, green means that someone is an actor, and uh, blue means that there's someone is a uh, uh, if something is a movie, and somehow the DVPD forgot to type for all the other movies here. Yeah, not a problem. So now I need to remove the triples again from my screen. So I can say uh, remove all nodes, and then they go away from the screen again, so I have an empty screen. And for almost every triple store, well, if you want to work with triple store, it's always very important to have a free text index on all your triples, because that makes it really easy to navigate. So how do you make a free text index? You click on display, and then you say edit the free text predicates. And here you see a list of all the free text 
that's all the predicates in the system for this tiny little database. And in general, it's just good enough to create a, um, a pretext index for IDF comment and IDFS label. Yeah. So now I'm indexing all the triples for that. And so now I have a pretext indexed. And now I can look for something like, um, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, let's do, look at Arnold. So what we do is we see all the triples that somewhere in the triple have Arnold in them. Yeah, so I'm choosing Arnold Schwarzenegger. So here we have Arnold. And then just for fun, let's also find Kevin Bacon. Yeah, and so I find Kevin Bacon. So now I have Kevin here. And then, and I'm going to explain how I do this later, but I'll let me select some predicates to connect these two people. I hit the letter P, and I take starring director and DS, and I can actually say, how are Arnold and Kevin related? And here you see, well, let me change the canvas a little bit by hitting smaller then. I'm going to explain that again later. Okay. And now we see that Kevin played in this movie, that Kevin Polak who played in this particular movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, so you can see how uh, things are all related. So this is another way to get things on your screen. So this is just the basic management of triples. We open the triple store, load up the file, and we check that the triples are in the store by just displaying all the triples up to a limit. And then finally, um, let me see here. Where's my PowerPoint? And then we search. We created a free text index, and we search for something using. Uh, we search for uh, some of the text, and I was actually using semicolon to search, and I should have explained that. Yeah. So um, see here. Okay. So that was managing the triple store.